Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create a mobile navigation that slides in from the side. It's completely responsive, has some transition effects in there, and it only takes about four to five lines of JavaScript. Pretty simple to do. Let's get into the tutorial. All right, so some things I've done in preparation for the tutorial. I've set up the index.html with the basic stuff. I've linked to the uh, CSS, which I'm calling main.css, and also I have it in a CSS folder. Um, inside the body, I've added a wrapper class, which is where I'm going to add all of my content. Uh, in there for now, I have an H1 and an A tag, so we have something on the screen to look at. Um, in the styles, I've set the font family to Helvetica or a serif. Um, really important is this right here, the HTML and body. I have a padding of 0, a margin of 0, and the width of 100%, so we have no weird white space going on. Also, since I'm using a wrapper class inside of the body, I set the width to match that at 100%. Also added an image on there, you don't have to do that, it's completely optional, and then styled that a bit. And then I've styled the H1, the button, and then I've also added a hover on the button so we have something cool to look at, so we can just do that. And that's about it for the basic web page I've set up. So let's go ahead and start working on our navigation now. Alright, so the first thing we need is the open button to open up the navigation. So I'm going to use a span tag for this, so span, and then inside the span tag I'm going to say uh, and symbol, pound symbol, nine, seven seven six and that's the code to get a three bar icon there on the span we're going to add an id of open and we're also going to add a class of open so when this is clicked we need the function to be called so we do that by saying on click and then we're the name of the function so the name of the function is going to be open nav and then open parentheses close parentheses so this is our function that we're going to be calling so now we can start styling this so down in main.css, I'm going to say dot open, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Let's change the color to white. And then let's make it a bit bigger. So font size of 30 pixels. There we go. And let's float it to the left. And let's add some margin to get it off of the side of the browser there. So margin 1EM for the top, 0, 0, 1EM for the left. So I did this because each value represents a different uh, side. So this is top, this is right, bottom, left. So that saves you a few lines of code. If you've been doing margin dash top, inner value, then margin dash left. So that's a bit easier. Also, I want to say display of block. And the reason we're saying display of block is because with the JavaScript, we're going to hide this. So we're going to display as none. So by default, we want it to be block. Okay, so one last thing I need to point out. Since we used a span tag, when we hover over it, it doesn't act like a link. When we hover over this button down here, you'll see we get a pointer. We don't get that when we hover over that. So we need to fix that to make it look like it's a clickable link. So I'm going to say cursor, pointer. So now when we hover over this, you'll see we get the same effect as if it was an A tag. All right, so now let's create our links, uh, basically what's going to be in the navigation. So I'm going to put this in the top of my wrapper, so above the span we just created. And I'm going to say div, and I'm going to say class of nav, and then I'm also going to give it an ID of nav, so we can target it with JavaScript again. And then inside of the div, we're going to put our links first. So I'm going to say a href, and I'm going to stub this out with a pound sign, and then I'm going to say home I'm going to copy this a few times. Command C, Command V. And then the second one we're going to call about. And this one's going to be the step, I think I called it in the example. And then contact. Uh, one more thing we need in here is we need the close button. So we did a span for the open button, but this one we're actually going to use a link. So I'm going to say A, href, and then I'm going to say JavaScript colon void open parentheses, zero, closed parentheses. We're also going to give this a class of close. And then just like we did for the span down here, we said on click and we ran the function. So I'm going to say on click and I'm going to say close nav. Open parentheses, closed parentheses, and then I'm going to close that tag. And inside this tag, I'm going to say and times semicolon. 
So that's going to give us a little X button. You may not be able to see it right now, but that's going to be the close button. So we have on click, close nav. So we have two functions. We have an open nav and a close nav, and that's all you need for this. So if we go to style this now, first thing I want to style is the nav itself. So dot nav, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. I'm going to set the width to 100%. And this is going to be changed to zero in a minute, but I'm going to leave it at 100 so we can actually see how it's going to look when it's opened. Then the overflow dash X, I'm going to set to visible, and that's going to be changed to hidden when we're done. Uh, again, I'm leaving this just like this so we can see it for now. Uh, next, I'm going to set the height to 100 VH, and that is going to be the entire height of the browser or the view height. Next, I'm going to set the Z index to one. And what that's going to do is if there's anything below it that has a zero Z index, it's going to appear on top of it. So by default, everything has zero. So this is going to make sure this is on top of everything. And then let's say position fixed. So it is in a fixed point on the browser. So you'll see now it's over top of everything else. And let's add a background color. I'm going to say RGBA for uh, the color code and the alpha at the same time. So the color code is 34 comma 65 comma 93 and then the alpha I'm going to set at 0 0.9 so now you'll see we have a cool overlay going on with the uh, navigation so when we click on the open nav button we want it to slide in from the left so we do that by saying transition of 0 0.5 seconds and that's the time that when an effect is applied that it's going to carry it out so the way this navigation is working is it's going from 0% width to 100 when you click on something. So this is the time it takes to go to 100. So if you don't want the uh, transition from it going from the side to the full width, then remove the transition. So if you remove this, when you click on the open nav button, it's just going to pop up on the screen. And lastly, we want to say display of block. Uh, now we're going to target the dot .nav A tags, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. I'm going to say color of white. I'm going to change the font size to 22 pixels. I'm also going to change these to a display of block as well. There we go. I remove the text decoration and that will get rid of the underline, so text decoration none. Let's add some uh, margin to these, so I'm going to say... 1EM, actually let's do padding on this, padding, 1EM, 0. We're going to add a hover effect to these, so let's apply a transition of 0 0.3 seconds. Alright, now let's do the uh, close button, so this X, so dot close, and I'm going to say float left then I'm going to apply a margin of 1EM, 0, 0, 1EM. Since we're floating, we need to go clear it. So I'm going to go to the dot .nav dot, uh, space A, and I'm going to say clear left. So it clears that float on all of the rest of the navs, on all the rest of the A tags. And now we can apply our overlay. So when we hover over these, uh, links we want a effect to go on so I'm gonna say dot nav a and I'm gonna do colon not open parentheses colon first dash child close parentheses colon hover so basically what that's saying is not the first child so we're targeting the dot nav so this class and then the a's so the the tags here and the first child is this button, which is the close, which is the close button, the X. So we're saying not first child, so not the X. And then on the hover of everything else, we're going to say background color, and I'm going to put in F seven nine four one D semicolon. So now when we hover over these, you'll see we get that nice 0.3 second transition from this line of code here and we're also not getting the overlay effect on the close button.
All right, so now we're done styling the navigation. All we have to do is go back into the dot nav where we're targeting the navigation and change the width to zero, like I said we would before. And then the overflow dash X needs to be hidden. Save that. And uh, now we're done styling completely. And the last thing we have to do is add our JavaScript. All right, so now we need to add the JavaScript and then we're done. So in the index.html, right before the closing body tag, open and close a script tag. Inside the script tag, we're going to call the two functions we created earlier, open nav and close nav. So I'm going to say function, open nav, open parentheses, close parentheses, space, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. Inside the curly bracket is what is going to, uh, to execute when the function open nav is called. So I'm going to create a second function below this one called function, close nav, open parentheses, close parentheses, open curly bracket, close curly bracket. So here's our two functions. And First thing we want to happen is when we open the navigation, we want to hide the three bar icon and we want the width of the navigation to turn to 100% because it's currently at zero. So let's hide the three bar icon first. So document dot get element by ID, open parentheses, close parentheses. Inside of that, open quotation mark, close quotation mark. And we're going to say open. Open is the ID uh, that we're targeting. So right here is the open ID and that is on our span tag. So we're going to say dot style dot display space equals space open quotation mark close quotation mark and inside of those none outside of the quotation marks add a semicolon. So what this is doing is it's targeting the ID of open and changing the style of a display to none. So it's going to hide it because as of now the display is at block in our CSS. So the next thing we want to do is change the width of our navigation from the zero down here to 100. So we're going to target the nav ID now. So document dot get element by ID, open parentheses, close parentheses. Inside of that, open quotation mark, close quotation mark, just like we did before, and say nav this time. So we want to change the dot style and the width this time. So dot width space equals space, open quotation mark, close quotation mark. And we want it to be 100% outside of the quotation marks. Don't forget to add your semicolon. So now if we save that and we refresh our live preview, when we select this three bar icon, it should disappear and the navigation should slide in, which it does. So now all we need to do is uh, code the close nav so that the icon reappears and the nav goes back to 0%. So let's do that now. So I'm going to say document.getElementById open the parentheses and open the quotes and I'm going to say nav this time first so dot style dot width space equals space open quotation marks and those quotation marks zero close quotation marks semicolon okay so now I'm closing the navigation back down so to zero percent width and now I want the icon to reappear after that so now I'm going to say document dot get element by ID open parentheses close parentheses open quotes, close quotes, and I'm going to say open, and I want the style, dot style, dot display, space equals space, open and close quotes, and here I want block. So I want to return it back to block and then add my semicolon. So that should be the entire code you need to run this successfully. So if we go over here to the three bar icon and select it, you'll see it hides and it brings up our menu and we can select one of these links or we can click the close button and it brings back our icon and closes that. Hey guys, it's Kaler. Thanks for watching the video. Click here to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. If you want to see this channel grow even more, don't forget to share this video. You can click the share button down below. Over here is YouTube's recommendation just for you, so go check out that video and let me know what you think in the comments. Up here is my newest video and if you haven't seen it already, go give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.